Hello, how are you? This is Father Sok Villegas, greeting you from the Archdiocese of Linga and the Gupan. Welcome to the Light of Faith. There are so many people who say the Lord is coming, the end of the world is coming. There are so many people who spread frightening news, making people anxious about the so-called end of the world, judgment time. Truth to tell, my dear brothers and sisters, the Lord comes to us every day. The Lord comes to us every day in many and varied ways. If we spend too much time focusing on how the Lord will come at Judgment Day, most likely we will miss the visitations of God in our present time, our present moment. The future is not ours. The past is not ours. The present is ours. And this present, this now, the Lord comes to us. So the duty for us is to be watchful to be vigilant. Vigilance and watchfulness are the main characteristics of those who want to see the Lord. Watchfulness. Wait for the Lord. Be sensitive to His coming. Look for the signs of the times to show to you that the Lord is indeed among us, walking with us, in my heart, in one another, in our community. But how do we wait for the Lord? We don't wait for the Lord and sleep while waiting. We don't wait for the Lord and do many other things. Sometimes we even forget that we are waiting for Him because we become too preoccupied with our chores, with our, with our tasks, with our other preoccupations. How do we wait for the Lord? Number one, wait for the Lord by listening by keeping quiet. Silence is the language of God. If you don't know Latin, if you don't know English, if you don't know Italian, if you don't know Spanish, that's okay. But if you don't know silence, how can you communicate with God and how can God whisper His message to you? The language of God is silence. And it is people who are willing to stay quiet who would be able to understand that God talks to us every moment of our lives. How do we listen? We do not just listen with our ears. We listen with our hearts. Because it is only with the heart that we can see rightly. It is also with the heart that we can understand and listen rightly. Because what is essential is invisible to the eye. What is essential cannot be heard by our ears. We listen with our hearts and it is called prayer. The second thing that we must do as we listen is to love. Love is not a sentimentalism. Love is not a romantic feeling. Love is an action word. The Lord Himself said, There is no greater love than to die for your beloved. There is no greater love than to give up your life for your friend. Love is an action word. It is not enough to listen. If you really want to know the Lord, look for Him in the poor. If you want to know the Lord, look for Him in the marginalized. If you don't know where the marginalized are, if you don't know where the poor are, if you don't know where the sick are, most likely you also don't know where the Lord is. Because the poor, the sick, the marginalized, the forgotten, the least, the last, and the lost, they are 
Jesus in our midst. And believe me, the poor will bring you to heaven. Last of all, if you are searching for the Lord, you must learn to let go. Many people miss the visitations of God, not because they are blind, not because they are malicious, not because they are bad-willed, but because they are too preoccupied with earthly things. At the sunset of our lives, we will only be judged according to love. And the mark of real generosity is not how much we give, but how much we keep. I pray that at the sunset of our lives, when you face the Lord, you will have nothing more in your hands, nothing in your pocket, and be able to say to the Lord, Lord, everything you have given me, I have given away. Because at the gate of heaven, God is going to ask us for the gifts He has given us. Gifts misused, gifts abused. All of these, we will be held accountable before God. Wait for the Lord. Look for the Lord. The Lord is here. The Lord visits us. Do not believe those who say that the Lord is coming very soon and be afraid. He will punish you. There will be devastation. There will be earthquakes. There will be famines and calamities and plagues. They will always be there. But we are not afraid because God is in control and God knows what is best for us. When the Lord comes, and He comes every moment of our lives, may He find you watching and watchful, listening patiently, loving generously, and letting go courageously. Thank you for your question. Thank you for helping us to guide you. Keep sending your questions so that we can help you grow in our love for the Lord, so that we can help you deepen the light of faith that God has given you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Let us pray for one another.